Well, good morning to you all. Good morning. Monday, the 5th of June, 2023. Start of a new week. Yeah, lots of lots of things to do. Better start some priorities. I've started some of the things that I needed to do. Uh, and I guess the next things all involve making noise. Need to deadhead that rose bush. That has been given such a wonderful display yeah but priorities priorities the big priority is getting those brussels sprout plants planted ten of them goodness yeah an ordinary family needs two brussels sprout plants well i'm not an ordinary family yeah i will be giving away well, I say that. Last year, the Brussels sprouts just didn't do anything. But I've started the important things. I've started the washing machine. I didn't think you would want to watch that. I don't know. Does anyone want to watch my smalls going round? That's enough of that. And my helper is out here all ready and poised hoping for something great to come out of this like a mouse or something I dug this over and rotivated it and I planted a double row of seeds arico seeds and they did nothing and I'm a little bit miffed about that because I I do like harico but it's okay, it's overgrown with weeds now, but it's sort of going to be an easy dig to make that a suitable place for Brussels sprouts. We think we might have found something here. Well, that's got the solar-powered clothes dryer running. Uh, what have we been doing so far? Well, we've got all of the machinery, most of the machinery out, and yeah, that's looking a bit better. We're going to chuck some Terro Universel in it, and then we'll cultivate it again. But while I've been doing all of this exciting stuff with lawn mowers and machinery and what have you, I did put the kettle on, so my immediate next task is to drink some tea. Yeah, you stay there, see if you can catch some mice. Make yourself useful. Well, there's a the thing. While the head gardener and I were drinking tea, the plumber and the electrician got on and got these Brussels sprouts planted. Very nice of them, but that means I've got to think of what I'm going to do now. Yeah, uh, what I did just notice, and I thought I would have a look at, this tree here is a quince tree. And when we look closely it is loaded with fruit hmm that's going to be a major problem because if it doesn't get enough water a lot of that fruit will drop so maybe getting some water maybe putting the cultivator away and yeah Maybe fixing the lawnmower, or at least finding out what's wrong with it. It runs, it cuts. What it's stopped doing is it stopped driving. Now, in some ways, that's not really a problem because, you know, this is the getting in the corners lawnmower rather than the major works one. But it's, it's irritating having something that doesn't work how it's supposed to. So I... I guess I could put that on the bench. No, I couldn't. The bench is covered with firewood that needs cutting. Hmm, I'll figure something out to do.
Yeah, I think before the sun gets round on this bit, I'm going to get some stuff done there. The, the finished effect here is that's supposed to end up looking like blocks of stone. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. So I've put three teaspoons of sand with two teaspoons of show and a little bit of cement, ordinary Portland. I'm going to mix that into um, a lumpy sort of paste and then we'll, we'll make that all a bit prettier, I think. One of the, it's not a secret, everyone knows it, one of the things that's important with this job is getting your mix right. That is way too sloppy. Okay, there's a simple cure for that. We'll chuck a little bit more sand, a little bit more show in there and stiffen it up a bit. Yeah, I got carried away with the water. Oh well, not an issue. And a lot of you will never have worked with show. I had never worked with it until I came here. Uh, it's horrible. Um, it is basically you know lime and it's very very powdery and when you open a sack of it you get dust blows everywhere you probably if you worked with it all the time you probably would be advised to wear a mask with it um, but it's the sort of traditional material for mortar and such like in buildings that are built in limestone. That's better. Like your grandma's rice pudding. Yeah. For what I'm doing today, that's better. For every job you, you want a different sort of consistency and you, you, you get the idea as you do the work. Right, let's get that shoved in the owl. Right, well I'm happy with that. Now it just occurred to me that some of you might think, how did he know how much to mix? Well, I didn't. I just mixed. And you might think, well, isn't that wasteful, mixing a whole bucket for a little job like that? No, it isn't, because I've done some creative work there, and what was left over, well... I'm not short of places to push odd bits of surplus show in as render. Yeah, I, I have so many things that need doing. And yeah, you know, if I've got a little bit of show left over, well, we push it in a hole somewhere. I've got plenty of holes.